friends, today's video is going to be a, a quick one to show you an activity we did today working on long and short vowels. So with my kindergartner, we have been working on long vowels and today we did a discrimination activity where we had to discriminate between short vowels and long vowels. And what I did is you can do this activity in a pocket chart. That's what it shows on the picture. But what I did is I, I put the labels on craft sticks and then we just stuck them in Play-Doh like this. And I know you can't see them yet. I'm gonna move them here. Okay, so there's short U and long, or short U, short vowels and long vowels. Now the reason they're holding this is because when you have a short vowel, you mark it with the little, what I call the smiley face, and when you have a long vowel, you mark it with the line. And then I put those two on the table just like this and then I gave him the cards and he had to separate the long and short vowels cards. So he had to read the word. So this is pig. Pig is a short vowel. So he had to place it right there in front of short. Web is short. So you would place it there. And they're actually all together because he just did these. Um, and then coat is long vowel. So he would place it there. Fries is long vowel. Soap, long, you get the idea. Um, I had them mixed up so he didn't have, he had to discriminate. So bug, and he went through the entire stack. He read all the cards. You can see this one is marked. It's marked long. We have, we used a dry erase marker and you can put a line over the first letter to mark it long and you cross out the second one because it's silent. So there's that. You could, so that's another thing you could have them do is they could go back through and mark the vowels long or short. So let's say I'm going to mark face. I would take my dry erase marker. It's a long vowel word. The first one says its name. The second one is silent. That's how you mark long vowel words. Meat is long. First one says its name. Second one is silent. And then if they get to a short vowel word, here's one that's already marked. I don't know if you can see that. There's a little smiley face is what I call it. Put, and it's put on the O there because it's a short vowel. So if they got to the word 10, they could mark it short and so on. So that's another thing they can do is they can just sort through the cards and mark them before they put them in the correct pile. So it would be short, long, short, short, long. And these are all laminated so we can just wipe the dry erase marker right off. So here's one that's marked, well, started to be. You're supposed to cross out the second vowel that's silent and then place it in the right pile. So. This was a fun activity. I have a quick clip of him working on it. Pick a card and you decide if it's short or if it's long. Okay, put it in front of short. I forgot to say, if you're looking for this activity, I will leave a link in the description box below here on YouTube and you can go get it. I, I believe you can also get this activity in my kindergarten literacy curriculum. Uh, so I'll leave a link to that as well. And I think you can also get it in my ultimate kindergarten bundle. So anyways, all the links will be below. We'll see you next time guys. Bye.